All right, I'd like to uh, kick things off with our first uh, vlog. This is going to be episode number one. We're trying to do something different to mix things up. Uh, we've got the website, stockertrailfishing.com. We've got our um, uh, uh, YouTube uh, channel, uh, <coughs> COAF, uh, for City of Allen Fishing uh, Field Team. Uh, so if you look it up on uh, uh, online Google, you should uh, be able to get to our YouTube channel as well. And I think we will put it in the little credits as well. And what we'll do, want to do, is just uh, uh, talk about um, what uh, we plan on doing or what we did, and uh, maybe uh, kind of mix things up with some other um, other episodes. Anyways, this is our first one, uh, and uh, to kick things off, uh, we'll just describe what we did today. Uh, and what we did today was. Um, Try out that uh, tradition, traditional three uh, fly rod that we picked up at Cabela's. Normally a hundred plus bucks. We ended up getting it for just under twenty-five dollars, and we were able to use a gift card for it. So that was pretty good. That uh, we were able to um, save some money as well as uh, get a pretty decent rod to replace one that we broke uh, last year. Uh, but uh, it's now good to go. We we're able to try it out this afternoon. Uh, got a, a number of bass. We started out with a. A little near deer and uh, had some hits uh, but they uh, threw the hook and then later on switched to this yellow grasshopper and sure enough they were hitting right on top and uh, lost count of how many we caught but uh, we'll get some video here uh, started and uh, throw it into this uh, vlog and uh, <clears throat> you can get an idea of what we did uh, overall we do like that uh, nine foot uh, five weight uh, traditional three Cabela's fly rod the handle is uh, kind of kind of big uh, for what we're normally used to with a, a five weight uh, but still it's, it's nothing not, uh, that we uh, couldn't get used to um, sort of like I've uh, uh, been using those two three weight uh, fly rods so it kind of feels weird going back to a five weight uh, but it did kind of seem kind of weird also because we were using uh, an eight weight uh, switch rod earlier this uh, week and the uh, rod didn't feel near as uh, bulky or the handle didn't uh, near Feel, feel, feel as uh, uh, bulky as the uh, the five weight, but that said, uh, we're still pretty happy that uh, we got uh, we got that rod. So with that, um, we'll shift over to uh, some of the uh, action today, and then uh, we'll come back to you. All right. Okay, uh, we're here by the uh, pond by Sonic, and we're gonna give it a try with the uh, new uh, five weight uh, nine foot uh, five weight rod that we picked up from Cabela's. Went for uh, 25 bucks, so not, not a bad deal. Only 100 plus, so I uh, got a good deal there. And let's see if it uh, can catch some fish. fish so, uh, first go, we uh, had a little uh, hard time getting them um, to hook up, and when we switched over to that uh, foam grasshopper, got this guy to hit. It's fairly shallow water, and uh, that bite stayed consistent. We were just working the uh, bank and uh, just getting hits here and there. I uh, had a lot of misses. I uh, also got a lot of strikes uh, and, and hookups. I'm not sure how many we got total, um, but would say at least uh, uh, nine or ten, uh, if not more than that. But, uh, there's another one of them that we caught this round. You can see how we're just going to work the bank. All we're doing is, is um, casting sort of um, at an angle or parallel to the shore. Not really getting much hits uh, in the deep air or uh, in the middle of the uh, uh, pond, but uh, we are getting our uh, strikes about uh, three to four foot uh, all the way up to the bank itself. Good stuff here. And uh, we kept fishing. Uh, we did run out of film or uh, video uh, disk space, uh, but we did uh, uh, hook into a good a good amount on the other side as well. What we were doing was casting uh, in the same manner we were doing here, uh, uh, about again uh, near the bank to about four feet, and then uh, really just making a big commotion with the uh, foam grasshopper and sure enough uh, we, were, we were able to hook up with a, a fair amount of them this round. Okay so uh, I hope you liked the uh, video and uh, if you do uh, like it uh, do put a little like or thumb whatever on the uh, YouTube deal and then other than that um, we'll just kind of chill for this round and um, hopefully we'll get another uh, vlog episode number two coming out. Till then, we'll catch y'all later, and good luck and good fishing.